Life is busy and most of us would love more downtime and less frantic rushing around every day. But all of the things still need to get done or we'll end up with an even more overwhelming pile of things to do. And catching up will feel impossible. Even when we love our life and adore our families, we still shouldn't just exist to serve them. We need time for the things that we enjoy, no matter what they are. I love reading, doing jigsaw puzzles, watching movies and TV shows. And I used to feel guilty doing these things when I had responsibilities to take care of, like cooking and cleaning and doing the washing. But if I waited until those things were done to do the things that I enjoy, it would never happen because they will never be done completely. There will always be more cooking to do. There will always be something that needs cleaning. There's always going to be laundry that needs to be washed. And those are just the basics. There's so much more to take care of. The good news is if we look at some of our day-to-day -day tasks at home and in life, there are a few little tweaks that we can make to our approach towards them that can give us a lot more freedom. Here are some of my favorite ways to automate delegate and simplify to free up my time and enjoy my life more. Menu planning and grocery list. Use a done for you service like eat at home meal plans or if you prefer to DIY, you can write a 31 day meal plan and just repeat it each month. You can even use mine. I'll leave a link below so you can steal it and make your own copy. If you hate writing your grocery lists every week, then you can create a template for your grocery shop. It has a long list of everything and you just print a bunch of them out, stick them in your house and family binder or on the inside of your pantry door. And then each week you just tick off what you want instead of writing it all out. For grocery shopping, order online, have it delivered instead of going to the shops. For cooking, I'm going through a super simple cooking phase right now and I'm not sorry about it. When it's my turn to cook for the family, I'll do a simple pasta meal or a sheet pan or oven tray dinner. Um, and I batch cook a couple of big pots of veggie and bean based soup every week and I freeze it in single portions so that I can heat it up and pour it over rice or pasta for an effortless hot lunch almost every day. We also get the kids to choose a meal and cook it with us once a week. Automate your calendar. I use a Google Calendar for my day-to-day -day time management because it works on my computer and my phone. When I'm making an appointment, I put the date and time straight into my phone calendar instead of taking one of those little appointment cards and losing it straight away. <laughs> and my phone calendar syncs with my work calendar too, blocking off that time so that I don't accidentally double book myself and giving me a reminder the day before the appointment so that I also don't have to remember it myself. At work, I use a booking system that syncs with my Google Calendar so that my clients and my podcast guests, they can book themselves in automatically so I don't have to manually check my calendar and go back and forth with them over email. Bill paying. Set up direct debits or pay your bills with your phone as you open the envelope so that you don't have to remember payments and due dates. You can set up an automatic transfer so that part of your pay each week gets sent to a bills account to make sure you have enough to pay your bills as soon as they come in. Household chores. Delegate them to your kids. Show them clearly how to do it. Help them the first couple of times and then leave it to them and uh, don't expect it to be perfect. Yes, they will argue and they will eye roll at first. Go and do something else so that you don't have to be there for that part and then just leave them to it. You do enough. Automate time together. This is one of my favorites. Set regular dates for family time, one-on-one -on -one time with each kid, time with your partner, time with extended family, and time with friends. We have an extended family dinner every Tuesday and it's wonderful. We all get to see each other without having to compare schedules and try and fit in a day here and a day there when we can all be together. We just know that Tuesday night is the regular night. And if we can't make it one week, that's okay. We'll be there the next Tuesday. Automate your budget. Set up recurring payments for your savings and money for household expenses to be sent to dedicated accounts so that it's there and ready when you need it. Set up an automatic transfer for a little bit extra to go into your super each month and you won't even feel it. And every little bit adds up over time. Set up a little extra to go into your mortgage and that way you can build a little bit of a buffer into it in case you have a tight month or you can pay it off a little earlier than planned. 
Use the Honey app to automatically find and apply coupon codes when you shop online. Automate your email. Set up a filter to have subscription emails skip the inbox and label themselves. You can go read them when you're ready instead of feeling overwhelmed by a cluttered inbox. Use schedule send to reply to emails at different times so that you don't have to go back and forth with one line email replies immediately after you send an email. Simplify email by only checking it twice a day and using template responses for the things that you tend to say over and over again. Delegate your laundry send it out. Our local service is about $30 per load. Or you could pay a neighborhood teen to come and help you with it, or you can share it with your kids and partner. We swapped out our big laundry basket for four small ones so the kids could manage their own, and it's easier on my back as well. We put a step stool and a side table next to the washing machine so that the kids can reach it easily, and we bought a couple of kid level clothes horses from Bunnings so they can hang their wet washing themselves. I was surprised at how easily they were able to take care of it once I showed them how to do it. Try some of these at your house and see what you can automate, delegate and simplify to free up more of your time too. The easiest way to do it is to ask yourself these questions. What's a task that I do by default that I don't want to do anymore? Do I really need to be the one doing it all the time? Hint, no. How can I make this easier for somebody else to do it? Usually you just need to find a way to systemize the process and then ways to automate, delegate and simplify it tend to pop up. Let me know if you need a hand and I'll brainstorm with you. I hope you found these ideas helpful. If you're ready for next steps, you can grab one of my freebies anytime you like. I will put a link down below so you can access them easily. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I almost said, and I'll see yo in the next video because um, the teleprompter says, I'll see yo in the next video, B instead of bye. <laughs>